Let him have it. Nice one. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most terrifying weapons in history. The more water, the more fire. For this list, we're focusing on firsts of their kind that brought to war new terrors. We're excluding manned weapons platforms, which warrant a separate list, although the appearance of the first tanks thundering across no man's land definitely must have been terrifying. Do you beg to differ on any of our picks? Cry havoc in the comments. Number 10. Plague Bombs For people in the Middle Ages, the Black Death was as mysterious as it was terrifying. It swept through towns and cities like an invisible hand, leaving millions dead. Imagine the horror when, in 1347, during the Siege of Kaffa in Crimea, warriors of the Mongol Golden Horde catapulted the corpses of plague victims from their own ranks over the walls. According to one 14th century account, the attack filled the city with, quote, mountains of dead. It was one of the earliest instances of biological warfare, and may have introduced the plague into Europe. Centuries later, during World War II, the Japanese would also weaponize the disease, dropping ceramic pots that contained plague-carrying fleas in China. Number 9. The Gatling Gun Ironically, American inventor Richard Gatling created the forerunner of the modern machine gun to reduce wartime casualties. The Gatling Gun could fire 100, even 200 rounds across the battlefield in the time it took an enemy soldier standing in the line of fire to charge his muzzle-loading rifle and fire once. A 100 to 1 advantage in shots downrange. He theorized the Gatling gun would, quote, supersede the necessity of large armies, diminishing, quote, exposure to battle. Designed in 1861, it was a crank-operated multi-barrel weapon that fired 200 rounds per minute, which increased to 3,000 once Gatling hooked it up to an electric motor. It was an unprecedented rate of fire, a whirlwind of bullets that awed, terrified, and mowed down combatants. Its success paved the way for the recoil-operated Maxim gun and ever lighter, more portable machine guns that soon became standard weapons of war. Number 8. Landmines Landmines have been called, quote, uniquely savage in the history of modern conventional warfare. Designed to blow apart a leg or riddle bodies with metal fragments, landmines mostly maim and kill civilians during peacetime. The Song Dynasty used them against invading Mongols in the 13th century, but they were first used on a wide scale against tanks in World War I, with anti-personnel mines soon following. Suddenly, even the ground was suspect, and every step could be one's last. Their use in subsequent wars has left over 110 million mines remaining in the ground today. In a single year, as many as 8,000 people are killed or seriously injured, many of them children. That's almost one person killed or injured every hour of every day. Number 7. Mustard Gas On July 12, 1917, waves of brownish-yellow gas rolled over the Allied troops at Ypres, Belgium. It was the first use of mustard gas on the battlefield. Soldiers at Ypres had already faced chlorine gas as well as phosgene, which was colorless and more lethal, but mustard gas loomed larger in the public mind, perhaps due to its appearance and gruesome effects. Rising up like ghosts from exploded artillery shells, the corrosive clouds blistered skin, blinded victims, and caused internal and external bleeding. Its use was one of the first steps down the dark road of modern chemical warfare, which saw the development of much deadlier chemical agents in the interwar years. Number 6. Agent Orange The use of deadly chemicals in armed conflicts didn't stop with the war to end all wars, or even World War II. Originally known as Operation Hades, the U.S.'s Operation Ranch Hand aimed to annihilate forest cover and food crops used by the Viet Cong in the Vietnam War. 
Some 20 million gallons were sprayed on Southeast Asian jungles, fields, and other targets over a nine-year period from 1962 to 1971. Hades was a better name. The clouds of oily white mist that drifted down from the skies left the land dead and barren. The countryside was doused in 20 million gallons of defoliants and herbicides, most notoriously Agent Orange, which left the toxic chemical dioxin lingering in soil and water sources. It was later linked to cancer and crippling birth defects. Number five, killer drones. Because they never know when they're gonna strike. So they just hear them buzzing all the time. It keeps them up at night and it drives them crazy. Imagine a constant buzz overhead as hunter killer drones search your streets for targets. It sounds like dystopian science fiction, but under the Obama administration, the presence of aerial assassins over some villages in Northwest Pakistan became commonplace. Their use has been controversial due to the number of civilian casualties, as well as double tap strikes that have allegedly targeted rescuers. Others have fired on funerals, and in December 2013, a wedding convoy in Yemen. Nonetheless, unmanned aerial vehicles like the U.S. Predator and Reaper drones have become a quintessential part of modern warfare, ushering in a new era of depersonalized remote war and edging us closer toward ever more automated weapons. Number four, V-Weapons. In the early hours of June 13, 1944, Londoners woke to an ominous buzz and a trail of fire in the sky. It was the first strike in a relentless barrage of the Nazis' V-1 vengeance weapons, the first guided cruise missiles. In September, as countermeasures slowed the onslaught, the Nazis rolled out the V-2, liquid-fueled ballistic rockets that were almost impossible to intercept as they plummeted from the edge of space at supersonic speed. The Nazis had eliminated the barrier of distance and created the technology behind modern intercontinental ballistic missiles. From now on, death could fall without warning from clear skies anywhere and at any time. Number three, aerial bombs. English cities had suffered aerial bombardment before the Second World War. During nighttime raids in World War I, the throb of engines overhead preceded the emergence of vast airships from the dark and indiscriminate blasts that reduced homes to rubble. Aerial bombs had first been used by the Austrian Empire against Venice in 1849, dropped from unmanned balloons and from heavier-than-air aircraft in the Italo-Turkish and Balkan Wars. Their use soon became routine and ever more devastating. They were famously described by writer Kurt Vonnegut, who witnessed the British-American bombing of Dresden, as like the, quote, ear-splitting crashes of giant's heels. They left the city looking, quote, like the moon rather than Earth. Number two, Greek fire. A mysterious substance that, when ignited, burns bright and hot. As Arab soldiers watched helplessly from their vessels during their siege of Constantinople in the late 7th century, Byzantine ships spewing fire bore down on their decks. The fire was unearthly, accompanied by thunder and burning even on water. Fire has long been a weapon of war, but Greek fire was something new, an inextinguishable and devastating weapon that set ships alight, burnt soldiers alive, and has been credited for the long survival of the Byzantine Empire. Its composition, said to have been revealed by an angel, is now lost. It may have been petroleum-based, similar to napalm, another sticky fire that wreaked appalling horrors on its victims. Finally, the Byzantine fireships sailed round for battle and according to the 9th century historian Theophanes, incinerated the Arab ships and every man aboard. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Atomic Bomb Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. These were the immortal words of physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer, quoting from the Bhagavad Gita after witnessing the awful power of his creation. The quote was all too apt. When Hiroshima was bombed on the morning of August 6, 1945, residents saw a bright flash of light before the blast ripped off their skin, boiled their organs, and melted their bones. Solid matter began to come apart, releasing untold quantities of energy.
The bombing of Hiroshima and then Nagasaki killed an estimated 129,000 to 226,000 people. The second bomb was intended for the city of Kokura, but it was too cloudy, so the plane moved on to Nagasaki. Desperately short of fuel, the crew released the bomb despite more clouds. For the first time, we suddenly had the power to destroy the world. In the ensuing years, nuclear weapons would become hundreds of times more powerful, fueling Cold War fears. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.